everybody welcome back to the farm today I have a list of things to do I'm going to to bury a chicken I need to place the solar energizer in a better location harvest chamomile I'm going to harvest some salad greens I'm going to tie up the grapes to plant popcorn clean up an extension cord that I was using for the grow lights in the greenhouse and also for the heat lamp for the chickens so I think we're past that time of year when I'm going to need those things. So I'm going to clean that up. Um, yeah, so that's that's what's all on my list to do today. So let's get started. These guys look hungry. Are you guys hungry? Why are y'all looking at me like that? They're all crowded around the fence. As you can see, their new place. I moved them out of the garden. They were over there. Over there. And now I've got their fence completely on grass. Going down and back up. So the chicken that died is is an old chicken, and honestly, I think she just died of old age. Um, I don't know how old she is exactly. I had, didn't keep records that that far back. I have since then started recording when we get chickens, and, um, so that I'll know how old they are. So that, um, but. About four days ago, she I know, she was over there with the rest of the flock, with, with the big flock, and I noticed that she was getting picked on. She was kind of sitting by herself, and um, I'm trying to get out of the wind. She was sitting by herself, and the rooster was just like really picking on her, pecking at her, jumping on her, uh, not really mating. He was just climbing on her and beating her up, you know? So. I took her away, I got her out of there, and I brought her over to where the little chicks are, and I thought, well, I'll just let her stay here for a while. Put her in the coop that night, then the next day, she just hung out, just like sat in a corner outside the coop all day. She actually sat over here underneath this water. This is a rain barrel that I used to water. You want to go look for a mouse? Okay, go find a mouse. So she just laid over there for a day. Conrad came this morning, he let the chickens out, and he said that there was a dead one. So I don't think she ever went in the coop last night. I think she just stayed out. She maybe even died late yesterday afternoon. Um, but she's out here in the open. This is, this is where she died. Um, you know, right out here in the open. She has no injuries on her. So I, I just think she just got old, poor, poor girl. Thank you for all the eggs you gave us. You were a good chicken. You did lots of tilling and gave us lots of eggs. And we appreciate you. We're gonna bury the chicken now. the chicken buried the next thing we're gonna do is move the electric box I'm sure it has a, a better name but we're gonna move the electric box that charges this fence here's the charger this has to get hooked to the fence this has to hook to this pole so I need to know how far away can I move the box Thinking that might be a good spot. Can you see that? Okay. So there's a the grounding rod. See that? Okay. So this is where I want the box.
charger is all hooked up now and the fence is hot. So this may get to test it. Well even if I don't find someone to test it for me, this uh is our second thing on our list of things to do is done. Here's the chamomile that I need to harvest. See these flowers are just about perfect for harvesting. The white petals are horizontal to the plant. They're sticking straight out. They're not curled up or not curled under. So these look pretty good. We'll get us a little basket or something to put them in and we'll harvest these today. make it difficult to collect chamomile. What do you have to say for yourself? Can you get off? I've got several dozen chamomile buds in there, flowers, see those? So now I'm going to take them in the house and, and put them on a dehydrator tray and let them dry up. Okay, they're pretty evenly spaced, no one uh, is really touching anyone else so they can all have their room to dry. Now I'm going to just gently place this in an out of the way place in the kitchen.
going to put a little water uh, down the row. Uh, they probably could use more water than I'm going to give them, but I've got one um, container full of water and I'm not refilling tonight. So that's the most they're going to get. Watering my row. And then I think I will call it a day. So, for outside chores anyway. Still have to cook dinner. I had to pick up two children from different places. And, uh, you know, general house cleaning, mom stuff, wife stuff. So, alright, you'll have a good day.